Honda CBR650R. Review Frugal Motor Updated for Euro 5 Compliance. Honda CBR650R is the go-to super sport bike for the real world. Originally priced at £7,949 when it arrived in 2019, it handles sweetly, looks just like a fireblade and recording a true top speed of 138 miles per hour on MCN's test track it's just 1 mile per hour slower than an Aprilia RS660. It's considerably roomier and more comfortable than a race rep but could take a track day in its stride on sticky rubber. Think of it as the spiritual successor to the much underrated and missed 2001 of 2 CBR600 FS Sport. It replaced the more sports touring focused CBR650F in 2019, a bike popular in its own right with Honda selling 602 of them in the UK in 2018, more than the Fireblade that year. Ride quality and brakes. As you'd expect the Honda CBR650R isn't hard to get on with. Ride quality is spot on, given its budget forks and shock and it wafts nicely through town, is comfortable on the motorway and doesn't protest when you ride it swiftly. It's balanced, stable, agile and engaging, with brakes that are always up to the job. It isn't as sharp as a full-on super sports race wrap or have the sumptuous ride of a machine with more expensive suspension, but it takes everything in its stride. We rode it around our MCN 250 test route with an MV Augusta F3 675 and Aprilia RS660 and in real-world conditions the Honda never struggles to keep up. Better still its riding position, which is slightly sporty is spacious and comfortable. Engine. Like the outgoing CBR650F, the CBR650R uses the same liquid-cooled 649 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine with added traction control. It has new dual air intakes, revised cam timing and exhaust tweaks, which adds up to an extra 3 brake horsepower at the crank which is next to impossible to feel in isolation. It isn't the last word in excitement, but with 94 brake horsepower on tap and loads of mid-range oomph, the Honda is smooth, engaging, has a decent turn of acceleration when you open the taps and a deep racy growl. The clutch is light and the revised 6-speed gearbox is slick and smooth, but picking up a closed throttle at low revs can be jerky. Reliability and Build Quality Honda are known for building quality motorcycles and this is reflected in the CBR. The fit and finish far outstretches its reasonable 2021 8,049 pound ticket and is backed up by a two-year warranty and wide-stretching dealer network. As you'd expect owners have nothing but good things to say about life commuting, touring, and generally enjoying the tie-built CBR650R, too. There are no reliability or durability issues for this or the previous CBR650F models, which makes buying a second-hand example all the more reassuring. Value versus Rivals A 2021 CBR650R is yours for £109 a month over three years, with an initial deposit of £1,302.61 and an optional final payment of £3,924.15. That's cracking value for a bike screwed together as well as this and for a new rider on a full license, or an experienced pilot looking for a sporty all-rounder, it's a great shout. However, the CBR also likes to make noises about being A2 friendly and it's here where it makes less sense. Compared to a 7,099-pound Kawasaki Ninja 650, which is available for £110 a month with a deposit of just 900 quid, the CBR is likely to be a bit too salty for the average 19-year-old in this license bracket.